Hi guys and welcome back. Today's Friday. Uh, I'm going to give you a bit of a behind the scenes of what I do um, through my week. So today it's actually Tuesday. Um, so I'm just putting the finishing touches onto the video that you probably already saw, um, which went out on Tuesday. Um, I'm also got to finish off my Thursday video to go out yesterday, but in a couple of days time. Um, so it's all very confusing. Not only am I getting confused days being stuck in the house on lockdown, um, but I'm also confusing myself with all my scheduled posts and doing videos for different days on different days. Um, but today's definitely Friday. Um, today I'm going to make a few uh, video calls. I think it's very important that we're all staying in touch and we're all communicating with each other just to keep our mental well-being healthy. Um, so yeah, let's jump straight into it. Let's make some phone calls. Oh, and one more thing, as it's tradition on my vlogs, I'm going to go make myself a little cheeky coffee. So there's a couple of guys that I'm going to call, a couple of friends of mine, um, artists from around the country. Um, just going to have a little chat, see what they're up to, uh, see how they're dealing with lockdown and isolation. Um, give you a little bit of a behind the scenes. If you follow these guys already, um, I'm going to put some links in my description below uh, so you can go and check their work out. So, uh, so yeah, let's go make some phone calls. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing like day to day then at the moment? So I used to try and train every every day. Right. I need something light, not like I used to, but it's something light and then I'd be ready for the day, get a coffee, straight to work, ready there and whatever, come back, usual thing, do all your work because it never ends. Yeah. Now, never sure. I know, yeah. Never sure. I get up and sort of, I have to be oiled like the Tin Man to so get out of bed. I'm like, oh. thankfully, I'm doing a lot of. I started off with the raffles, which help. Yeah, definitely. If you can't get money, like a lot of us can't. The raffles, and I did a raffle for my commission work, my artwork. Oh that's, yeah, yeah. That, that's that's going quite well. I got, uh, got another four to do. Wicked. Only one of them was a raffle winner, and three of the others are just people that have seen it and gone. How much for this? And so it's great, but the problem is I've run out of paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Basically, the last from the minute we went on lockdown, probably give it, I say, a week. I've done nothing but woodwork. Right. Nothing but woodwork in the garden. I've built decking. I've basically took all the garden away and I've done all decking. I've built a massive, massive surround to enclose the hot tub and things like that. Wow. And I was like, Oh, Louise, he's shocked. So, that's really good, Dennis. And I'm not, I know I did used to work normal job before. <laughs> but again, it's good to, to get them juices flowing after that hard work and to do a bit of bath. To know I can go and do that would work and go, I'm glad I only draw for a living. I think that's that. That's what most people that don't tattoo don't understand that it, it isn't just a nine to five. It's it's all consuming, you know. It's just that twenty four seven. You're always always in it, always on it. Um, that person, that possibly drunk person, messaging you at one o'clock in the morning, and exactly. you don't answer back, they go somewhere else, and you know it never ends. No. So if somebody's saying to you or saying to whoever every day, saying. Invent a word, and you yeah. go. Uh, <laughs> I've run out. Okay. <laughs> Invent a colour. I don't, I don't know. It's that pressure every day, yeah. creatively, and it's so hard when you've got when you've been told to stop. I felt. I felt. Twenty fourth of March was just like some day just went stop. Yeah. And it's like, what do I do? What, what do I do? So I think that that's given me a reset to doing all the work in the garden and yeah, yeah. having downtime. And now the artwork's coming back. If I, I've started to find another another love for it. Not so much tattooing. I still love tattooing because that's bread and butter. But I think you have to go back to the art side of it 
for me. Yeah. That's where my creative stuff comes from. And that's the reason we got into it, right? I've always said to you when you was doing yours, it's find a way to transfer. Because I find most artists, if they're artistic before being a tattoo, it's because obviously there's tattoos now that exist that don't. They're just tattoo. Yeah. You know, they're just photocopiers. But I think you was, you was artist before, but the love for art, and you had your own your own technique, your own identity when it comes to the way your artwork looked. Yeah. And I remember saying to you, find a way, and I've said it to many other artists, find a way to keep that identity and push it into your art, into your tattooing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. if you can do that, you've kept your identity. That's your that's your tattoo, that's your style. And I think yeah. you have you have managed that because anybody I know that knows you or anything sees your work and goes, oh, that's how Thomas is work. Yeah. I always said, your tattoos are 4K tattoos, the way that we see them. Every bit of detail that the eye can't pick up with a 4K camera can, I guarantee you found it, tried to put it into that tattoo, like a shadow off a droplet's reflection, and you're like, yeah, yeah. who the hell have you found that? So you're missing tattooing then? I am, but I'm not in that rush. To get back, either. To get back to it. No, um, to be fair, it's kind of like, you know, somebody says to you, what would you do if you won the lottery? Yeah. Would you stop tattooing? <laughs> this is this is grounded me to that point. To my case, it was I always went. I want to stop tattooing. No, I'll carry on. Yeah. Not tattoo as much because I wouldn't need to. But I'd only do the tattoos that I wanted to do that I knew creatively were just good for me. Yeah. And I think that's how I'm mindset wise. That's how I'm at the minute. It's like slowly I want to get back into the tattooing feel that you know the way the way it is. But on my terms, I do want to get back into it. Because it's the, the, the camaraderie of it all, and my people, you know what I mean? It's the same humour. Yeah. I'm stuck here with two kids and the missus at night to me, so I'm just like, oh, God. That's it, uh, no. Right, I'm going to love you and leave you, Dave. Hey, Mum. Thanks for, uh, thanks for coming on my channel. Ricky, mate. Right, take it easy. I'll speak hey, to you soon. You. Look after yourself, say hello to Eileen. Will do. See you later, pal. Laters. Aaron, how's it going? <laughs> cheers for uh, cheers for coming on this video call with me. I no, appreciate it. On the, uh, the monotony of the day. <laughs> exactly, exactly. How's things? How's things? Yeah, not too bad, mate. No, how, how are you? Yeah, good, good. So you've been uh, you've been missing tattooing. Oh, massively, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, you know, you can only sort of do so much, so much drawing and, and painting and things like that, but it's not the same, you know. No, exactly. You haven't got that that client relationship sort of thing, I suppose. Exactly, and it, it sounds a cliche, but you you know it. It's it's a lifestyle, isn't it? Tattooing, it's what you live. No, exactly. You've been eating lots of bad food, like everyone else, or have you been eating fairly healthy? No, do you know what? I've been eating really clean. We've yeah. been running every day. We've been like pretty like yeah, living pretty well, staying positive. But um, I miss it tattooing so much. Well, hopefully, I mean, by the sounds of it, Fourth of July. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like, um, I was really hoping for June, but it sounds like it's going to be a, a July yeah. sort of reopening, doesn't it? Hopefully. If everything goes to plan, obviously everything could still change, but fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah, fingers crossed. Um, I mean, the, our clients have been great, you know, that everybody understands. I think the one, you know, the one uh, consolation um, is that we're all in it together. Yeah, for sure. You know, like, oh... You know, the tattoo community, friends, family, you know, everybody's going through the same thing. So it's, I guess it's the one thing that brings everybody together, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, speaking to a lot of my clients, everyone's been so understanding about yeah. having to be moved around and appointments changed and everything. So. Yeah, we're, we're the same. Though. My clients have been great. Uh, well, it has it's made things easier because you feel a responsibility to look after your clients, don't you? No, exactly, yeah. And when you when you you know the government is forced all, all our tattoo studios to close, your hands are tied, and, and 
when your clients are good about it, it just makes all the difference, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. You made any changes to the studio while you've been shot, or has it just been closed doors and that's it? Yeah, we've been in a few times, and uh, you know, we've done, we've just sort of had a little rejig with the place and had a had a few deep cleans. Yeah. Uh, we 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 were actually hoping for Boris's big announcement last week that we might have some uh, better news and we might be yeah we might be in in the next couple of weeks but yeah no chance of that yeah that is that um, is very interesting i mean today obviously well i mean when i do my filming i'm getting dressed and ready obviously but yeah and it normally it's kind of it's not not a struggle to get ready but like do you know what i mean it's trying to find that normality in this situation where we're not being normal I know exactly what you're saying. Um, yeah, I've pretty much been living in a hoodie and joggers for the past seven weeks. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and, uh, there's no point, is there? No. I mean, I said to Aileen the other day, obviously with that sort of announcement that it's getting closer to the fact that we might be opening, uh, I was mm. saying maybe I'm going to start sort of getting up and then going to bed in the same routine that I would do if I was yeah. at work. Do you know what I mean? As opposed to getting up late and staying up late for no real reason yeah and uh also just waking up naturally every day you know I, I don't have an alarm anymore yeah so all of a sudden waking up you know early with my alarm and you know going to work a week it will probably take a, a little bit of adjustment exactly, to get back yeah. into the swing of things won't it but if you can survive this you're 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 good you know yeah i think if, if we can all get through this relatively unscathed then we'll, we'll, we'll come out stronger on the other side for sure just gotta get back at it start Stop yeah, again. I think it'll feel it'll feel really odd at first, you know, like having a machine back in your hand and everything. Yeah, definitely. Like a, a few people that I've spoken to, it's sort of you kind of ask people whether you're missing tattooing, and it's kind of like, well, I am missing it, but I'm kind of not massively excited to go back at the same time. It's it's like a weird yeah. a weird situation that it's got to now because of how long the time's been. I you feel, you feel anxious about returning, yeah. don't you? Yeah, yeah. No, I, I get that as well. And these are things that like you don't expect. You wouldn't expect to like be in this situation where you you, you, you got all these kind of like this kind of paradoxical sort of like perspectives on it all. But it'll just be nice just to get back to normality, I suppose. Yes, mate. Yeah, we um we're now counting down the days until July. Yeah. When the bars and restaurants finally open next year, yeah. we'll have to catch up and have some dinner. Yeah, for sure. Right. All right, buddy. Thank you Thanks so calling, much for, uh, for coming on my channel and giving me some extra content and whatnot. Take no worries, anytime. Minutes. Look after yourselves. You Look and Hannah. You. Take care. Speak to you soon. Bye bye, mate. Later. Well, that was Aaron and Dave. Like I say, two good friends of mine, both tattoo artists. You check my description you'll see the link to all of their social media so you can go and check their work out um, it's been a good day it's been fun catching up talking seeing that everyone's in the same boat if you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like subscribe to my channel to see all my latest videos so yeah i'm gonna go and grab some dinner enjoy the rest of my evening and i'll see you on the next video peace